Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the second wave of Candy Toy Avataro gears for Avataro Sentai Dawn Brothers. Uh, as you can see here, a full case of 12 actually gives us 12 distinct gears, which is kind of neat. There are no doubles. Some of them are ones that we already have, either from DX sets or Gashapon sets. But I think it's kind of cool that they didn't give us any doubles. They actually went all out and did 12 distinct gears here, so that's really cool. So starting over here, we have Inu Brother, we have Kiji Brother, we have Zen Kaiser. Then for the Legacy Sentai teams, we have Jack, Denji Man, Dynaman, Bio Man, Ginga Man, Abba Ranger, Magi Ranger, Gokaiger, and Pato Ranger. So again, some of these we already have, so I'm not going to be doing Inu Brother, Kiji Brother, Zen Kaiser, Gokaiger, or Pato Ranger because I've gotten them from either DX sets or uh, Gashapon sets previously, but I will go ahead and take a look at all of the others. But I wanted to at least show all 12 here just because I think it's really neat that they actually gave us 12 distinct gears, so I think that's really cool. Uh, packaging for these is pretty standard. So for the ones that are actual team members, you have a member of the team over here, of course, the corresponding gear. And then over here you have the breakdown on the side, not really much going on on the top or side or back. So basic candy toy stuff. Um, then when we get to the Legend Sentai members, you always have uh, Domo Mataro with the red from that Sentai. And again, the rest of the box is pretty much the same as all the rest of the wave. So pretty cool. I do like the artwork here. I think that's really fun. And again, just really impressed that we got 12 distinct gears here. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of them out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. So here are the seven gears we'll be taking a look at. We'll start over here with Jack. Really nice artwork on all these. You have the nice gold chrome around the outside. And then you can see that he is number seven. Up next we have Denjiman. And he is number 10. Then we have Dynaman. And he is number 13. Up next we have Bioman. I really like these suits. I just think these are really, really fun. He is number 14. Then we have Gingaman. 29. Abba Ranger, another set of suits that I really, really like. 35. And then last but certainly not least, we have Magi Ranger, number 38. So all these look really good. I like the artwork on all of these. I think the blue and the red really pop. I think that all looks really good together. Let's go ahead. Let's bring in the Dawn Blaster so we can hear some sounds. All right, so up first, we'll start with Jack. Up next, we have Denjiman. Dynaman. Bioman. Ginga Man. Up 
Abba Ranger. And then Maji Ranger. So that's going to do it for Wave 2. Uh, we got a nice assortment of Sentai here. Got a lot of older Sentai, which is fun. A couple newer ones to round it out. Unfortunately, because they're all pre-Gokaiger, we're not getting any unique transformation sounds with the Dawn Blaster. Just kind of getting the name of the Sentai and the usual generic sounds. But I still like them a lot. Now, I know you can really get all the sounds out of the Dawn Blaster with their corresponding Sentai gears that you probably already have. But I do really like the aesthetic for these. I love the artwork style really sharp. I love the chrome and everything. I think they look really, really cool. So I'm definitely in it for the long haul, trying to get a complete set of Avataro gears by the time we're done. Like I said, we have a lot in here. We had 12 unique gears in the case, which is really cool. It makes me think that because they kind of know that we already can get these sounds out of the Sentai gears, they're kind of going through these very quickly, get these out there for the people that want them, and then maybe the second half of the show we're going to get something unique in terms of Avataro gear. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But I feel like they really are getting these out quickly. I feel like when at this point with Sentai gears, we were only about halfway. But I feel like between the deluxe sets and the Gashapon and the candy toys, they're really getting the teams out there pretty quickly. So we'll have to wait and see what happens in the latter half of the year. But I think this is a great set. Definitely recommend checking these out. I absolutely love how they look. I really, really like that art style. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.